cordless drill has crapped out. Not running, you pull the trigger, the light comes on, and nothing else happens. And I've just. I have smelt burning in it in the past. So it's quite likely the motor's just about burn out. That's outside warranty. I've undone all the screws. I've got two. Two that have been stubborn and hanging on. There's one. It should be ready to pop apart apart from this one screw. It's undone, but it's being fussy. Or stubborn, I should say. Now, I'm pretty sure... This is not a brushless motor, which is why I'm deciding to pull it apart. That'd be right. Here's what we're looking at. It's being stubborn and just hanging on, so that's annoying. Right. I had seen this bit flapping about inside it so I'm pretty sure that shouldn't be flapping about I don't know whether it's melted off the motor hmm. disconnect the wires that way I can just get at the motor Yep. Can't see it. This bit here, you can see that it doesn't have the little rim all the way around it, so in order to help with the cooling, that must have been glued to the commutator. That's what that's called. Taking guesses. A magnet. It's a bit of air inside that. Yeah, it's a thought. It's it does have brushes, and they were gunked up. This looks filthy. So I might be able to clean that. I want to try and get this out so I can get at it because I think the other brush is on the opposite side. That way I don't have this all hanging together.
Here we go. If we have a look in here, see all that melted plastic? I really overworked this drill one day. I was using it to mix up concrete with a big paddle and started to smell burning. That's what it was. That's all burnt. So I might, I'll be able to clean that up with a knife. The brushes. I could probably clean those. They. They still have a bit of life in them. So I'll clean the grease off, clean the gunk off. Clean this section so that the brushes can actually get to the copper. And I reckon this will be working again. Uh, what I want to try and do is clean this. And maybe the brushes. Now I've just grabbed some, some of this really fine steel wool. It's going to do the job for this. See the difference? Cleaned off section compared to stuff that hasn't been cleaned off yet. All that dark stuff on the copper of the commutator is carbon deposits off the Off the brushes, you can see, kind of see the brushes are a little bit. How's your father? They're a little bit nasty looking. And judging by the the gunk that's inside the drill, this was probably clogged with a bit of it, because they were they were stuck back in their little housings but the spring wasn't doing its job stuff that's on this bit where the magnet is looks like it's just gunk that's basically been pulled into the drill a lot of the um carbon mess and it's just basically being ground up inside the yeah and around this way so see all that section there that's something that's basically been melted into the magnet and that's what's been making this mark on here uh, bit of scraping off so it might, might just be a bit of carbon deposit might be some plastic the way it's not cleaning out that well
that's a slightly better view. I'm now currently trying to deal with this bit, which is where the plastic is melted. Mm, looks like it on both sides from when I overheated the job. So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to carve out the, the stuff that, the areas that I've melted really badly. So it makes it, because this was hard to disassemble, that might help with the, the reassembly. Not the best light to be working in, the light's behind me. Sorry about that. Whoops, don't know where that went. You know what I'm trying to do, so I'm just going to do it, and I'll come back to you. Okay, so here's a discovery. This part here, which is the bit that holds the brushes, has um, been disformed, like disfigured from the overheating. So it's basically bent forward. Oh, crap. See if I can straighten that out a little bit. I'm not really sure how it will. Hmm. And I was thinking of putting a little dab of um a little dab of hot glue to try and keep this in place not too much but just a little bit hmm. needs to be quicker Damn it. <laughs> this bit has these little lugs on it that help clip it into the housing.
there a little bit. Melted plastic in this bit where the rear bearing goes is preventing this thing from going back together. And I'll get a melted plastic there too. So a bit more carving to do. Back on out. Let's try this again. That sounded satisfying. Let's get some of these screws back in. Still sounds like crap because of that piece moving around on the inside. Which is now breaking to pieces. can see the fins inside that are broken. It's working again though, because before when I was pulling the trigger, all that was happening was that light. And that was because of the brushes. Now I'm pretty sure, you might have seen it too, there was a spark. And a little piece of brush flew out the hole. Because the brush had broken a little bit. Not a perfect outcome. But... When I pull the trigger... Now doing stuff. I said this is well out of warranty. So I think you can now buy these as skins, so because I've got the batteries. Apart from being noisy and throwing little pieces of plastic out of the back. It's working again.
That doesn't sound so bad now. That's because the little fan bit inside it isn't spinning. So it's not going, it's probably going to get hot a lot easier. <laughs> uh, but at least I diagnosed exactly why it wasn't working and that was the brushes. But I had a feeling that there was a fair bit of damage because of the way that it had overheated and blown smoke. <laughs> and that was all the plastic melting. Anyway, a rescue drill, but not the greatest of um, rescues, I think. If, uh, I don't know. 